everyone, I'm Jamie Goodman, the Editor-in-Chief of RAS News, and we are here at day two of the NRF show, and it is very busy, the energy is palpable. So Colvio has an impressive list of retail customers from DIY stores to beauty brands, fashion and luxury. Can you tell us more about the Colvio Revelance Cloud and why retailers are utilizing AI search, recommendation and personalization platform? I think, so the, the Covio Relevance Cloud is a SaaS product uh, focusing on product discovery. So from search to recommendation to badging and also AI powered product listing. Um, why I think the retailers are going to us is really because of our focus. Uh, so we've been focusing exclusively on AI. Uh, so making sure that AI drives pretty much everything. Uh, and AI takes into account revenues, takes into account profitability. While some vendors out there might be more around, you know, tuning about being able to create kind of your, your custom solution or even optimizing more on clicks. Uh, we've been extremely focused on values, actual money that you can return from, uh, from our product. Covio just announced the new merchandising hub, a product that was developed as a result of your acquisition of Quibit, an AI powered merchandising company. What problems would you say merchandisers are facing today that led you to come up with this innovation? Well, it's in the field of AI. Uh, so far, there has been a lot of point solution that brings, you know, little incremental changes, uh, especially related to AI. However, as a merchant, it's extremely hard to get all of these different solutions that usually don't even come with any kind of interfaces and understand what is the true uplift uh, of these of these different kind of point solution that are added. Uh, with the acquisition of Qubit, we're bringing a new interface that has been built for merchandisers that has the goal of creating some sort of transparency on top of AI. So it's really for merchandisers to understand what AI does and being able to take actions on top of that AI. Retailers have been struggling with tight margins, supply chain issues, inflationary issues, and more challenges. How can investing in AI technology help with some of these challenges? Well, it's a, um, the thing is it becomes a, a game of trying to understand your users and trying to interact and always trying to find, you know, the right products to show to the right user, which at scale just doesn't work. Uh, so you have to have the, the exact balance between what the customer is looking for, what is relevant to them, what will end up converting, what are the products they might not even be thinking about, especially in you know, a relationship in between products, and then at the end of the day, what are the products that are the most um, that are the most valuable for you? Which mean obviously the margin of that product, but also even shipping costs and such. Um, so that's really that kind of balance. And as you know, the year progress, we just keep adding ingredients to the mix of complexity around retail. And only AI can actually solve you know that complex equation that is you know profitability in retail. So what have you seen so far at NRF that you found most insightful? I would say it's uh, composable. Uh, I've been really surprised by it. Uh, so composability has been, you know, something that has been asked. So before, you know, you had these monolith product that were offering, you know, a suite of solution, but never necessarily the best at any of these different solution in it. And more and more, we're starting to see products that are much more focused, uh, that are best to breed. Uh, Cuveo, for example, being completely composable, being um, usable in pretty much any situation in mobile, on the web, even in uh, in-store experience. Uh, and we're starting to see more and more commerce platform embracing that kind of co uh, composable uh, strategy. 